you like to tell the interwebs good morning? No. No. Can you show everybody how you give a high five? No. Good boy. Give me a high five. Good boy. Quick store run for a couple of items. Let's see. Some bananas for the hubby. Some spinach. Eggs. Some fruit for the hub. Some coffee for the hubby. Got a shop just for him. Spaghetti squash for tonight's dinner. And some chapstick. Ooh, the sm coffee smells good. Oh. Smells good. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I step on you? Oh, the injustice. Dinner tonight, we're going to do spaghetti and meatballs with spaghetti squash. Stickers and cats. Okay, so this is what's going on. We're making spaghetti sauce. Um, I've cooked my onions down and I will wrap them in cheesecloth cloth to cook in the sauce since I can't eat the actual onions and garlic. Uh, I got some bell peppers um, softening up and I'll add some tomatoes and a few seasonings. Uh, I got my spaghetti squash going. Over here we have meatballs going. We have a pound of venison and a pound of venison sausage that I made. Um, to that, I'm adding some chopped spinach, shredded carrot, chopped parsley. Um, I use this kind of not only to increase the nutritional value, but also to give it some bulk since I don't use breadcrumbs. We'll add some salt, pepper, fresh ground nutmeg, um, maybe an egg or two, and if it has trouble binding together, I'll add just a touch of almond flour. Here's a little tip for the day if you're making meatloaf or meatballs or anything like that, something that really enhances the flavor is uh, fresh ground nutmeg about a half to a three quarters of a teaspoon in, um, I don't know, this is going to be about two pounds of meat. I just uh, grind it fresh real quick. Gotta wear an apron tonight. I support the four basic food groups. Boy, I wish I had one of those tonight. So what I do is I put my meatballs in a little oil, I brown them on all sides. I don't cook them all the way through. And then I stick them in my spaghetti sauce and let them cook down for about 30 or 40 minutes on a low simmer. So we're just going to spend a few minutes browning each of these. Here's some more meatballs. Another tip, when you're um, making the meatballs, try and just barely roll them together. You don't want to pack them in. Um, you, if you pack them too tightly, you're, they're going to be a lot more dense than they need to be. You can also bake your meatballs. Although I do find they don't um, come out nearly as tasty. And they won't be perfectly round. Pretty much the only way that's going to work is if you deep fry them. Alright, so all the meatballs are made. They're now in the sauce. Let them cook down for, I don't know, 30 to 45 minutes. Breakfast time. By the way, I got it before 11. Yes! Um, so I'm doing a little bit of that moule sausage that I did the other day, and I think I'm going to start putting my supplements on here because I need to remind myself to take these things. I've been getting bad. So, moule sausage for breakfast. Right, for dinner, I have meatballs, spaghetti squash, and spaghetti sauce.